Hey guys, welcome to the Simply Knives YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Cold Steel Kiridashi, which has possibly the biggest thumb studs of any knife that I've looked at. Anyways, this thing, it's like a, it's definitely a unique looking blade. Here it is. Kind of, I don't even, I don't even know. I guess I guess the blade type is actually Kiridashi, right? A Kiridashi type style blade. Um, has cold steel's triad lock, so it kind of is like back, and that metal bar there to additionally help it. It's really easy to open up one-handed slowly. It's not any sort of a flicker. I suppose you could but it's kind of difficult because you'll see that all the way like up to here, it'll snap right on back. So not good for that, but the massive thumb studs and look, listen to the sound. Yeah, the massive thumb, thumb studs in conjunction with that sound make it pretty satisfying to open anyways. Um, I got this one off Reddit. It was actually a freebie from a fellow knife user the the pocket clip on this thing is like it's really silly looking obviously kind of plastic cheap looking i have not tested out the pocket clip yet kind of has like a strange looking plastic handle it's got those thumb the thumb ramps to make it even easier to open up with your thumb i really do like the sound of that honestly but I mean I think it looks cool it's not my like most favorite style blade this kind of you can kind of put your finger there so it kind of is nice ergonomically it's not really any sort of jimping on here the blade kind of looks like it must have been tumbled as well which I think looks nice well, let's go ahead and do a paper cut test because why not Okay, not so good. Remember, this was bought used off off of knife swap, knife swap on Reddit, so can't expect the most from it. Yeah, so this definitely needs probably to be sharpened. I apologize that I won't be able to give you guys a new out of the box review for this guy, but I think you know because the guy gave it to me just as a free add on, it's probably. Around like the twenty dollar range. It's got a uh, sorry lanyard hole. I mean, overall, I just think it looks pretty cool. Doesn't cut too well, unfortunately, but I like the one-handed opening. Just because it's super satisfying. It just clips and shuts super rock tight. Not any sort of blade play at all. I think uh, the centering, I guess it's just fine, right? Moves quite a bit. It's it's not like so super in place because it is, you know, kind of like plastic construction. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's definitely a unique blade, different than anything I have. So uh, I kind of am pretty fond of this. And the cutting edge, Pretty much, like when you're cutting, it would get pretty much all the way on there. Let's see if I can show you. Looks like you'd be able to chop pretty well with this. So it could definitely be a very useful blade. I will go ahead and give it a little link in my description for you all to, if you wanted to go find one online for yourself. Cold Steel Kiridashi. Let's see, pretty pointy. Yeah. Well, anyways, if you guys want to check these out, uh, I'll link it. And until the next review, have a good day. Peace.